sakes, the noise, angels are the most <laughs> Get ready to mount up, regulators! Today is the 13th of February, 2023. It's the night before another satanic freakazoid hella day, Valentine's Devil Day. I hope y'all don't celebrate it. It is wicked. Be on alert and be in prayer and stay aware. The witches are at it again, casting their spells. However, if you have the Holy Spirit inside you, if you've been called, chosen by the Most High, called and chosen, um, then we're protected. So we need to be praying for others that aren't so protected. Okay? Pray for the captives that are being. Um, kidnapped or lured for these satanic sacrifices and that includes pets, babies, children, and adults to be miraculously set free by the Most High God and for all those that are doing these evil things to be exposed and disposed of unless they repent immediately, drop their divination tools. You heard me, witches? Repent and turn to Yeshua HaMashiach. Okay, so now um, I finally had a little bit of some dreams. I hadn't been getting a lot of uh, rest over the last, I don't know, three weeks, months, um, from a lot of neighborhood clown acts. <laughs> the noise campaigns and that kind of sucks. But I got enough sleep last night. I was able to remember a few dreams. So that's what this is going to be about when I'm going to come back on and tell y'all of an awesome sign I got in the sky from the Most High last night. So there'll be two or three shorter videos of just one subject. Maybe that'll be easier to follow along. And it goes a little something like this. Hit it. Okay, so the dreams I had this morning, so February 13th, 2023. One was, I was talking to a dog, a small dog, um, I don't know, maybe about six pounds, five or six pounds. It was black and white. It was not one of my old dogs. It wasn't Chewy or Beignet. Um, and the dog was talking to me, and I could understand what it was saying, and I was talking back to it. I can't remember what we were talking about. But I was made aware in the spiritual realm that this was still a puppy, even though it was basically the size of my grown dogs um, when they were alive. And it had just been born, and it was talking to me. And I remember thinking in the dream where its mother is. I was wondering where its mother was. And then I looked to my right, and I saw a very tiny puppy that could fit in the palm of my hand. Same coloring, black and white. Yes, I know. Freak Masons use black and white. But anyway, I believe this could signify the light against the darkness. Thank you, Father. You just downloaded that to me. So anyway, I look to my right, and there's a small, tiny, tiny little dog. Like three times less the size of the one puppy. And it was laying in a ball, and it wasn't moving. And I was really upset at first because I thought it, it didn't make it. That's why it wasn't moving. But I prayed in the dream that it would be alive. And when I touched it, it came to life. I believe this is also showing the power that we're being given by the Holy Spirit, by the Most High God, that we're going to be able to heal the sick and bring back the dead to life. And that includes just with the word of, of the Lord. Because in the end of days, people will hunger, but it will not be for food. It will be for the Most High God's Word, because it will not be found. There is a darkness, a dearth. Dearth? Dearth Vader? Come on, Cletus! It's Darth Vader! yee Anyway, yeah, a dearth is spreading over the earth. Oh my gosh, and I made a rhyme before my time, a dearth over the earth! <laughs> okay, y'all, so, um, it, it came back to life if it was dead. It came alive, and it, like, did that and I was so happy and I picked it up and I cuddled it and then I placed it next to the other dog and I was made aware of the dog I was talking to that was like three times the size maybe five six pounds of the little one 
um, was a boy and the other one was a girl. And I said, look, you have a baby sister. And I was aware that these were puppies that were just born, but I was wondering where their mother was. Then a woman appeared to my right and she said she was going to name the smaller dog. It was either daffodil or dandelion. And I wish I would have been able to wake up. I was just so exhausted. Wake up. Why don't you put on a little makeup and, and write down the name? But anyway, it was either named dandelion or daffodil. I'm pretty sure it was daffodil. And I said I didn't want to name it that. Okay, so that could just be some spiritual insight for me. I'll come on in another video. I'm very exhausted tonight. So um, when I'm getting more downloads of what all these dreams mean, I do know what a lot of it means, but not all of it yet. So I'll come back on with that. But um, okay, so the next two dreams are the ones that I really wanted to come on and talk about. Um, because I think this is showing how close we are to going home. Saints! Okay, so the next two dreams I had, um, I was walking down a, well, let me start because it was, that, there was actually three dreams, but they all go together. Okay, so then the next dream, I'm in a completely dark area. It could have been a room. I really think it was, you know, outer space signifying battling in the spiritual realm because when I woke up, I felt like I did not sleep at all. Battling serpents and snakes. Just like that, uh, that song, battling, I can't even remember what it's called now. Battling snakes, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm in darkness and there's a man with me. I don't know who it was, but I know he was on team Jesus, team Yeshua. And um, we were battling a giant red dragon. I've not had a dream where I was battling a dragon for at least a year or two. So I believe this is really important in what time we're in. Okay, the dragon has been cast down, that ancient serpent. We know him as the devil, Satan, Lucifer, the lion loser. The dragon in my dream was red. It was a horrible looking creature. It had like scales coming off of it, a big long tail, kind of like a snake and wicked looking. Um, it had like pointed horns coming out and it was breathing fire. Yes, that's right. A fire breathing dragon. And we, me and this man were battling this dragon in the darkness. And we had what I thought to be flamethrowers, but I didn't see any flamethrower. So I believe this is part of our powers because I've been shown by father many times being able to throw fire, 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 no, no, fireballs at these witches and Satanists that are trying to take us out. Um, yeah, so, and the dragons, which are seed of the ser serpent, right? Anyways, but I didn't see the, the flamethrower, but in the dream, I knew it was a flamethrower. So I believe that that's how much power we're going to have in our hands, man. And this aggression will not stand, man. Okay. All right. So <laughs> let me focus on this focus factor. So. I was made aware that as we were blowing this dragon back with the flame coming from our hands, the dragon was trying to hit us with, he was a fire breathing dragon. He was blowing out flames. And I was made aware that the man with me, um, or the fellow regulator, I should say, um, had battled this dragon before and his flamethrower went out. And the dragon, it like malfunctioned for a minute. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Okay, and <laughs> anyway, um, and the dragon was able to bite him, but it obviously didn't kill him. So I'm believing that this could be a high ranking angel that I was battling alongside against and who comes to mind is Arch Michael. okay? Because but it might not have been, it just might've been a high ranking arc. Okay. Because we have done this battle once before. 
this is the la this is the last time we've been sitting down here in this final hour. Some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're battling the dragon, and then we were able to blow it back. That's all I remember about that. Then the next scene, take two. Um, I am walking down a long, white, brightly lit hallway. And I want to call it a corridor. Normally I say hall, hallway. But this, in the dream, it was like I was made known. It's a corridor. I need to look that up, actually, the meaning of corridor. I know it's like a hallway. But a corridor. I'm going to the right. Okay? I'm walking down the hor the corridor. <laughs> the whore that rides the beast has been cast down. Okay, Mystery Babylon has fallen. That's funny. Anyway, um, the corridor. <laughs> the corridor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's, I'm tired, y'all. Anyway, and I'm walking, and as I'm walking, my the shoes on my feet, I was made known, were not mine. They were, I either found them, or they were given to me. I cannot remember. Someone either gave them to me, or I found them, and I remember thinking they fit. But each step that I took going down this corridor hallway, they would get smaller and smaller. My feet weren't getting smaller, just the shoes, until I realized they were at least a size or two smaller than my foot, and I needed to take them off. At the end of this corridor was gold, and not gold and in their heels. Not that kind of gold, please. It was like a golden light, and the rest of the corridor was white, and by this golden light was a wooden bench. Like you would see a park bench, but it was inside. And I went and I sat down on the bench and I took off the shoes and I placed them under the bench. At the end of the corridor where the bench was, you could only go to the right. The left was a wall with glass windows. And to the right, you could keep going. So then I got up and continued to the right, um, going down this long tunnel like corridor barefoot then the next scene is i am on a long bus or a short train it was long and narrow okay but it wasn't it wasn't a super long train like it didn't have a lot of cars on it you know the box cars or whatever it just had one Either I was like, you know, in the engine, in the engine room, in the room, in the car, only being pulled by one, an engine with one car. I'm sorry, y'all, it's hard to explain this. Or it was a super long bus, like a school bus, bus, but, but longer. And there weren't that many people on it. There was empty seats. And I'm going to say there was between... 20 something is thir maybe 30 people okay i'm sitting on the right of the bus or the train and we're going up a mountain obviously i thought regulators mount up when father showed me also um the most highest holy mountain going home we're being guided into the wilderness and as we're going up i realized my dog wasn't with me and if y'all remember, Father had told me that Beignet goes home with me, and she ended up, um, I had to put her down, actually, which was very hard, but I know she's with Yeshua, um, a year ago. And so, I can only think that she's waiting for me on standby somewhere, because in the dream, I was nervous that my dog wasn't going with me, and I was made aware that she was in the very front of the train or the bus. She was okay, tucked safely in some sort of a compartment or under the seat or something. And once I knew that she was okay, I went back to my seat. I was sitting in the front, but not the very front. I was maybe, like if there's if there's like uh, 20 rows, I was maybe about seven rows from the front. 
So I wasn't quite in the middle, but I was more in the front than the middle. I don't know if that makes any difference, but that's what I remember. The outside was dark. Everything on the outside of the bus was dark. I just remember that. Thank you, Father. And then when I sat down, I was made aware, like supernaturally, telepathically or whatever, that we had to make two or three stops, but the stops were not going to be very long. They were going to be between one and three minutes long. And then we would be going up over the mountain and into the sky. So I believe that this is sig significant of rapture, rapture alert, along with the battling the dragon, the red dragon, which is also symbolic for planet X, planet Nibiru. I've been shown many, many times over the last five years where people weren't even talking about this yet. The Hopi Native American prophecy, the red Kachina. The red planet and the blue star, which a lot of us are connected to, will collide with the sun. The sun is a portal. No one goes to the Father except through the sun. We go through the sun to go home. The fact that I was in this um, hallway that was white, and then it turned into gold, streets of gold, the golden gates, golden arch. The sun is gold, right? Well, not now. It looks white, but y'all get it. It's symbolic, going home. So just want to put that dream out and then uh, check back in just a little bit and I'll show y'all what I got on my phone last night of some really cool things. But oh, and let me end it with this. I also was given, when I woke up this morning from these dreams, I was given a word of knowledge by Father, which I haven't had in a while, y'all. I have been missing Father talking to me. I haven't been able to get enough sleep to um to have dreams or at least remember my dreams i've also been being attacked in my dreams i'll praise the father he came through but it's been about three weeks and i've been praying for father please give me something give me something to tell all your persecuted chosen individuals and so this is for all of y'all as well as me encouragement how close we are um and that how how much power we will have um, in the spiritual realm with the Most High God, with Yeshua in our hearts, okay? So the final part is when I woke up from these dreams, Father told me 10 days. Something is going down in 10 days. I do not ever get that. I don't get dates like that, okay? So I counted. Today is the 13th. The 13th. 10 days from the 13th is the 23rd, and Father said, flip it backwards, like the Satanists and the Freakmasons like to do. They turn everything right side up, upside down, and Father's turning it back right side up. So February 23rd would be written 2, right, for February, 2, 3. Father said, turn it backwards, 3, 2, 2, skull and bones, okay? That's their evil... Um, freak mason demonic number so i'm just putting it out there i have not got I, father will give me three times for confirmation that's all i've gotten but i just had that today if i get more confirmation um yeah something will be taking place but i find it interesting that he told me 10 days something's gonna happen remember also about i saw fire the only thing i could see fire fire the only thing I could see when we were battling the red dragon was the flames coming off of the coming out of the dragon's mouth were lighting up uh, the sky, which was pitch black. And then the flames, which I called it a flamethrower that the guy had, but there was nothing in his hand. He was doing this with his hand, and that's what I was doing. So we were able to throw flames, right? And then I was seeing those flames. So it was like fire in the sky, okay? Fire in the sky. Anyway, um, and remember Father said he will never again flood the whole earth. This time he was going to take it out with what? Fire! Fire! Fire in the hole! Get ready to regulate.